Um, so I'm trying, I'm noticing now that I've made a couple of these that I'm starting to be flooded with, um, you know, things that I feel, well, highlights of, you know, spiritual experiences that I've been through. And, um, I just want to share this real quick. Oh, there it is. That's seated Buddha. Um, University of Virginia has a um, huge religious studies program. And at the time that the Chinese were taking over Tibet, some of the scholars from the University of Virginia um, hustled their little asses over there and um, gathered up a huge quantity of sacred text, uh, which was actually, you know, very beneficial. And uh, I think probably even um, in line with the Dalai Lama, because he comes here fairly often. There's a large Tibetan community here in Charlottesville. And um, so anyway, um, damn, now I lost my train of thought. Oh, dreams, right. Um, this metaphysical church that I attended for a period of time uh, the uh, leader of the church uh, was a teacher of um, ancient wisdom. Not so much, well, ancient, I guess, the Upanishads. I wouldn't know how to pronounce the Upanishads. Uh, well, maybe I would by now, but, you know, back then, it was a really fun word to, to learn. Plus, um... A lot of really interesting reading you know um, there were sacred texts that we were studying and things like that and uh, sort of as a um, uh, a compliment to my studies I um, developed a meditation practice I didn't have to go to, um, to the shop to the salon until 3 in the afternoon so I worked uh, the shift where people got off work. You know, I mean, that was the busy time. Coming after work, get your hair done, you know. You don't go in the morning in D.C. and expect to make any money. So, well, I mean, exceptions that come to my mind. Um, so, um, so anyway, um, so I'm doing the meditations. I um, sat in a uh, straight back chair um, uh, and um, there was a piece of music that I found. Um, this was a suggestion um, that I find a piece of music that was, um, I think it was five minutes long. Play that every time you sit down to meditate and um, you will automatically go into a meditative state. Pav loves dogs. So, um, so I did that from the Yes Bookstore. I found a um, beautiful piece of music that, you know, became my, uh, my meditation music. So, so I'm doing that. I'm doing the hemisync tapes from the Monroe Institute I am uh, studying ancient text um, from learning about yogis and all that. So, um, so I have this, um, I'd have to say prophetic dream. And when you have one of these dreams, you know, you know it's a special dream. You know it's like a very unusual dream. It has a message, you better, well, I mean, you know, if you're smart, you're going to pay attention. I'm, I'm not going to tell anybody you better pay attention because, you know, hey, it's your life. 
So if you do pay attention to this dream, and I've had several now, um, but this one particular one I'm going to tell you about, we're at the five minute mark now, so I got to be quick about it. Um, I was an old lady, much older than I am now, because I'm an old lady now. Uh, I was living in a community in a cave. And I was the oldest person in the community. Not necessarily the elder, but the oldest person. And I was the storyteller. And children would come and gather around me. And I remember there were like rug tapestries on the walls of the cave to make it feel really comfy and cozy. And my main memory of the dream upon awakening was that um, I was telling the children about the times before the change. And this was even before harmonic convergence. So it's probably harmonic convergence is 87, 86 maybe. So anyway, that's it for that one.